So guys, autocross. Again, Roswell, we're in line to do our two practice runs on time. They're doing things a little bit different here now. Um, it's the same track as last time. It was like two months ago, the last time we had an event. So I'll post the map up here. It's a pretty simple track. A um, little bit of speed, a couple nice turns, nothing too crazy. It's fun from what I remember. Um, I woke up a little late rushing this morning, forgot my helmet, so I have to use one of their helmets. It kind of sucks. I'm upset. But, um, yeah, I'm going to have to find somebody to like record some shit for me. But uh should be a really good day. I'm excited. Like the weather... It's like 80 degrees out, but it's like not sunny at all. It's like overcast. Got a little breeze going. It's definitely nice with it. So real quick here, I uh, did practice laps. They were freaking awesome. The car feels so good out there. It actually got like pretty freaking sideways at one point. It was a little scary. Um, I'm gonna have David get in the car with me and record from the inside. Um, then I'm gonna try and get some clips from the outside, but the car feels great. After putting those bald ass tires from the last event that were on the fronts to the rear, I think that's what's making the rear kick a little bit. So I gotta like plan for that around corners and shit, but this is fun. It's really fun. <laughs>
So, if what I seen was correct, I think I got a 43 something. That was my fourth lap. We all have one more lap to go. Um, wow. As you can see, my launch is not very good. Something to work on my launch. Like I said, these tires are kind of beat. Um, but she's doing really, really good. I kind of forgot in the beginning of the day that, so like if you suppose you're about to take like a slight left turn, like I'm going into the, to the back corner here. So I'm going along the side, I'm going to the left and then going doing that roundabout thing. If I let off the throttle and take that left, like the back end just wants to like be all happy. And as long as you stay on the throttle, you will have grip. So I have to stay on the throttle like pretty much up until like I'm last second about to take that turn. And I got, I got a break, downshift and turn all at the same time into that turn. And then, uh, yeah, it's just, it's a lot of stuff to do at one time, but uh, staying on the throttle really helps. Softer suspension definitely helps. Uh, I have the tires at like 30 PSI right now and they're doing perfect. Uh, hopefully they're not too destroyed after today because I need to put a couple hundred more miles on them. But so far so good. Uh, actually shout out to David. A huge shout out to David and Tay for helping me record today. Really appreciate it fellas. Thank you so much. Uh, makes my life a lot easier. I can get some, some clips. Um, it's warm it is warming up it's still like kind of cloudy but it's like i think they said it's supposed to be in the 90s today at some point but either way we got one lap left hopefully i can break down my time even further uh that honda is no joke he is that me honda mr2 we're always neck and neck with each other so um maybe i'll get lucky and roy won't come back and slap my ass so wish me luck <laughs> See, is what my tires look like. The front ones, it's not too terrible. Excuse the the wind and the noise, but this is this is my worst tire. You can see there is there's some cord showing there, all around. It's pretty rough. I got a brand new set at the house, but uh, get this thing to focus. Yeah, you can see they're pretty rough now. But uh, she did good. It was a really good day. I think I locked in this. 43 second run. Roy already went. He didn't beat it. Somehow. Burnout's going. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> My kind of shit. Well, wow, that was good. I'll get a picture here of the uh, the official times once everybody's done running. Once again, sorry for the wind and all the clips. It's just super windy out here always. This part of New Mexico is pretty shitty, but yeah, I think that's it for now. After this, I'm gonna go eat, go home. I'll talk to you guys when I get home a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's all I got.
find out Thursday. What a hell of a day it was. Um, really excited the day actually, um, excited that they actually redid last month's track. It was cool to go back with some different mods and more knowledge and more seat time, I guess, on the car and go back up against Roy and uh, barely edge him out. I beat him by exactly a tenth of a second. Mine was like 43.58, his was 43.68. Pretty crazy how it works out sometimes on the racetrack with times and stuff like that. But overall, great day. Uh, Tune is just doing its thing. It's great. Thank you, Frank. Um, his information's down in the description if you want to get tuned by the same guy. Uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Of course, all the race line stuff and just everything. The Euro code, the tie roll sport, the stop tech, the EBC, all the parts that I've gotten to make this car what it is. Uh, 034, they're a big one too. They got some really nice stuff. But, um, as you guys just seen, Turbo showed up. Uh, I have a whole video and dyno footage. I got on the dyno yesterday in Amarillo. Um, so you'll see all that come Thursday. If you don't follow me on social media, BR32YCE on Instagram. I post stuff under the story and then I try and post something every day or something. I don't know. If I have something to post, I'll post it. But um, if you want to stay up to date on what's going on with the build or just chat or whatever, uh, check that out some cool stuff but uh i posted one of the dino videos there so you can go you can go watch that but uh we'll have the full video with all the runs and all the shit and the unboxing and close-ups and stuff with the turbo on thursday so i'm excited it's gonna be a couple weeks until i get this turbo in uh due to events next weekend i gotta help a buddy move friday and then uh there's racing saturday night and the sunday and then the following weekend Going to Albuquerque, there's uh, this big event called All Out Call Out. It's a big drag strip thing. I still haven't decided if I want to enter yet. I might, if I still can, I don't know. Um, and then the day after that is this big show up there called Desert Fest. A lot of stancy stuff, nice cars and whatever. So I'll go there and record a little bit and hang out, depending on how the weather is. Um, last year it was like on tarmac at an airport and it was just miserably hot, like not good not good hot so that's we've got coming for you um if you stayed this far we are willing to pee i appreciate it and uh yeah be on the lookout for that video thursday it's gonna be a good one that's all i got so thanks and i'll catch you in a flip flop